Okay, this is a tutorial to show you how to uh, take a, a drawing of a simple object in Illustrator, convert it to a symbol, and then manipulate symbols. So, what I've got here is uh, something I've drawn that's a star, it's a series of lines, it's got a circle with a gradient behind it, and I put an outer glow on that circle through my uh, stylized outer glow under effect menu. Okay, uh, so my star is created, I've just got a little black background uh, as a separate layer just so that it, the glow shows better. And I'm going to select this, go to this little symbols icon, and then, uh, just to leave that right okay, so um, my computer crashed, so there's a symbol for it here already, but let's just uh, ignore that. So I'm going to click new symbol while this is selected, call it star 5, my computer kept crashing a lot, so let's just do that. Disregard whether it's a movie clip or a graphic, does not matter unless you're bringing it into flash, which we are not. Click OK, and now you can see it created another one here. Now, if I want to be able to use this in another project, if I switch over to my sky background, which I just made a black background for, you can see it's not here under symbols. So what I need to do is go over, select that, click on my symbol libraries menu drop down, go to save symbols, and I'm going to call it star symbol 5, click save. And now when I go over to Star Background, it's still not there. But if I click on my libraries, bring this down here to User Defined, you can see Star Symbol 5 is there. So I select that, and now it's up. Now I can drag this out and create a copy of that star, or I can use my Symbol Sprayer tool, which is Shift-S is the shortcut. And I just click and drag, and it just paints out a bunch of those symbols. Now I can go to my Symbol Stainer tool, Choose a color, like yellow, and if I click on it and hold down and paint down there, it's going to slowly start to stain that color. Well, it's not really slow, except for the computer processing part. Uh, so it, it stained that. Now if I just click on this one for a split second, you can see it's going to be yellow mm, once the beach ball is done processing, but not nearly as yellow as the other one. And let's make one of my stars an orange color too. So let's pick a different color, hit it with the symbol stainer, and I should have some orangeness to uh, those stars down there. And this is the thing that's been crashing my computer over and over. Let's hope it works. Okay, that's good. Now if I click back under that same symbol area, I can go to my symbol sizer tool. And if I just click on a symbol, it grows it up. If I hold down option on the keyboard, hold down option and then click and drag, it makes them smaller. Okay. So those are getting smaller. If I use the right brackets or the left brackets to make the brush bigger or smaller, I can speed this up. So make the brush really big, hold down Option, and just shrink these things down. Okay, so, see here we got some people coming in the office, but that's all right. So I shrunk those down, stars look decent. I'm gonna go to my Layers panel and make sure that my background is locked. And with all these stars selected, I am going to create a new symbol. So, I've got this whole selection here. Click that new symbol button. Name it Star Group 5. Hit OK. And then I'm going to go back to my symbol sprayer tool. And now I am spraying out clusters of stars. Okay, so it's starting to look like a nice night sky. Um, I'm going to go back to my symbol sizer tool. Make the brush really big. Make these stars really small. And I am once again going to create new symbol. This might crash the computer here because it's starting to get a lot of little symbols in one symbol. This will be star group 2. And then with that selected, go back to my symbol sprayer. And here we go. It might crash the computer. Let's see what happens. Okay, and I've just got literally tons and tons of stars now. I can go back to my Symbol Sizer tool, make it bigger, option click. Okay, and uh, I've got uh, what amounts to a pretty decent night sky. Make those a little bit smaller. And I'm going to go back with my um, Symbol Sprayer and just spray another layer of larger stars in front of it. 
and maybe go back to this other group and spray paint some larger stars oops and let that process and what I've got uh, is essentially somewhat of a night sky now the colors aren't exactly perfect and you might want to add a uh, transparent gradient over it to really complete the night sky kind of effect uh, like a transparent gradient that kind of fades from light to dark or makes the appearance of atmosphere and clouds or something but uh, for the meantime this is how you take something you've drawn in Illustrator, turn it into a symbol, and manipulate it with the symbol sprayer, the symbol sizer, the symbol stainer. There's a couple other tools under this um, that you can experiment with. Some of them spin things around. Some of them, um, you know, draw them together or spin them around. Um, but you go ahead and experiment with those. In the meantime, this is really good basics for how to manipulate symbols. Thanks for watching.